Lounge with Travify Academy, where we get to hear from travel industry voices and experts to learn more about their story and what they see on the horizon for travel professionals. I'm Stephanie Grice, and our guest is Dana Zifazak, who is founder and business coach of Guts, Grits, Goals, and also a certified travel agent. So welcome to the lounge, Dana, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to chat with you. Yeah, same here. And to get started here, can you first start off just by telling us more about yourself and what you do? Oh, sure. So I have been a travel agent for eight years. And prior to that, I was a school teacher for 10 years. So now I'm as a business coach, I'm still an agent, but I have found that I love working with agents and getting them to grow and take the next big steps. So like, for instance, I had a client in January, her go- a, a coaching client, her goal was to pass the certification test. So that's what we worked on that month. I reminded her, where's your study plan? Where's your, you know, where she texted me when, you know, she made some sort of goal and then I would follow up with her. So that's kind of how um, I work with my clients. We figure out what they want to accomplish. And then I work with them to do that. And I'm also down the road, I will have um, a membership where we'll have a weekly topic. It's kind of like group coaching, but that is still in development. Um, but I'm looking forward to sharing um, all of my all of my insights and things like that with with travel agents and make make them better. Yeah, we all get better that's, together. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's so great. And that's why we were so excited to have you on here today of just talking about how to stay motivated and how to work through the craziness. Because <laughs> usually you're working through things anyway, and then you throw in a pandemic and just mm-hmm. everything's insane. So really excited to chat with you. And we're so grateful um, oh, as yeah. well. And I, I know that this year, extremely challenging, but what do you tell your <laughs> obviously. And what do you tell your clients, but also yourself, you know, how to stay positive and to keep motivated? Well, so I think with, with what's going on now for our industry, it's been, you know, crazy 10 months. And when you think, I even think back to like last year, this time, and I'm like, oh, we were so innocent. We didn't know. (laughs) We didn't know what was about to happen. Like I was speaking with a client the other day and I was like, remember last year, this time we were planning an August trip and didn't think anything of it because, (laughs) because it was, it was not on our radar, but everything that's going on with all the changes, all of the regulations every day, it's something new being thrown at us. And I think it's important to approach them, to approach these things two ways. First, you can vent vent away, get it out, get your emotions out, but don't stay there too long because if all you do is vent, you won't go anywhere. You won't be productive. So vent, find a venting buddy, but then whoever you're working with or in your own head, you need to take perspective, step back and reframe what's going on. You know, show yourself the facts because I think when we see something where we respond emotionally, you know, it's our emotions that are, oh my gosh, I'm never going to, I'm never going to have clients travel again. Or when our cruise is coming back, like there's just so much panic and it's, and it's real panic. It's, you know, it's, it's acceptable panic. But if you, if we stay in, if we keep staying in panic mode, that just takes us down a slope. So it's like, okay, get it out you know, sigh, and then reframe it. Okay. And think of, okay, what's the reality here? Do I have to contact any clients? Like bring it back into what you have to do to get through the day. And that's easier said than done, obviously. But, you know, acknowledge that something is going on. Acknowledge that you're annoyed at the next announcement or we just never know what we're going to get like thrown at us. So I think, you know, acknowledge it and then take the perspective right now. It's hard to do that because we've been, we've been dealing with this for so long, but think about one year from now, two years from now, we'll be like, wow, that was, that was hard, but we're going to come back. Like people want to get out. So I always refer for myself. I always reframe it like, okay, I canceled you know, I lost 72% of my revenue last year as a travel agent, but 
those people are going to travel once they can. So I just keep reframing it for myself that, okay, it's going to come back. It's not going to be forever. But again, we've been telling ourselves that for a while. So I know it feels like an open rec a, a repeated record, but that's what we have to do. I mean, and it can't be, you can't, um, it's not just putting on a smiley face and saying, oh, everything will be all right now. I mean, we know eventually it'll be all right, eventually, but right now, except it's, except it's bad. Well, it's not that, I mean, it's not terrible, it's getting better. And then reframe it to, okay, well, they can't go here. They can't go on this cruise, but maybe the clients will want to go to Disney or Universal. Like reframe it for them and yourself and say, okay, what can I sell? Because some destinations are open and booking. So it's like, you have to take a step back and, and realize that it will be, it will be okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's definitely, you have to work through it yourself. And again, take action on something. You have to do something. So that kind of goes into, I guess, our next. <laughs> yeah. The next thing. Yeah, no, that's so true. Just reminding yourself to reframe your mind, but I also like how you allow yourself to, you know, understand that this stinks. This is yeah. not ideal at all. And, um, but it will get better and yeah, all that. And so that, that is, that's a perfect segue into the next thing that I want to talk about is what, okay. If you had to narrow it down to three things, what are three things that advisors listening right now can do to maximize their success and business growth, even during a time like this? Oh yeah. Well, so like we just said, things are, we don't stay, you know, you can acknowledge it's bad, but you can't stay in that mindset. You have to, you have to take action. The most important thing to me is to touch base with my clients, let them know, excuse me, let them know I'm still here. And that can take the form of, you know, email lists. It could take the form of calling, like, you know, calling people and, you know, calling a client. Like you could have a day where, you know, two hours or one hour, you just call like your favorite clients just to say, hi, and how are you? Um, one Valentine's idea that's really cute that I'm going to, that, well, that I think is cute, but it is hokey. I'm going to send like little Valentine's to some of my clients, like not real actual Valentine's, but just like a little note saying, I appreciate you. Can't wait till we can work together again. So just kind of knowing, like keeping that connection open and, you know, having building that relationship because eventually they will come back and you don't want them to forget about you. <laughs> okay. So still building value in that relationship, just having them know that you want to talk to them. And, you know, like I have some clients who call me and they are just like, we just talk and talk and talk and talk. So I think, um, touching base with them and saying, Hey, I've missed talking with you. How are you doing? What are you up to? And, you know, you can mention travel, but you don't even have to. They want to know that you care for them as a person. So number one, keep up with your clients, even if we keep having to move dates and cancel, but don't let our exchanges just be, oh, I canceled this reservation. I moved these dates. Ask them how they're doing. Ask them how the kids are doing. You know, are the kids at home? Are they, you know, doing cyber school, whatever, like, ask them a little bit about their days and not just say, oh, here's your cruise cancellation email. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> definitely be with them. And then another thing is check into trainings. There's so much free training out there. You can better yourself with free resources. What you guys offer, the Travify Academy, there's so many webinars and the podcasts and the blogs. I mean, you could do a webinar a week. Like, and just to keep up, like keep up on things, even just within the Travify Academy, but like so many other places have, you know, depending on your consortium you're with, there's trainings in there. You have to do them just because they're there doesn't mean that they're going to give you value. You actually have to do it. <laughs> and that is, you know, it's because I'm the same way, like I'll sign up for something and well, if I don't actually sit there and do the workbook, I'm not going to get any value out of this. <laughs> and so, but take, make that professional development commitment. Like if you're in this for the long haul, take advantage of so much free training. You don't even have to pay for it. You know, like it's so, there is a lot out there 
And I think that's a good professional thing to, um, to build upon. And on that same token, um, token, get into LinkedIn and connecting with professionals. And, you know, I just find that such a great networking thing and you can write articles and you know establish your credibility like work on building your resume you know with the trainings and just all the different things that you can do work on yourself as an agent you know take that time you would be you know doing things you know for bookings take that time and invest it in you instead of watching netflix or you know doom scrolling on facebook just just take some time for yourself to learn and grow I love that. Yeah, no, it is. It's such a good reminder too that, you know, there's uh, things out there, but you actually have to do them. And if there's like a workbook, <laughs> I, I do that all the time. I get so excited about um, taking a free course and then I do get like 10 minutes in and then I'm like, oh, I'll come back to this. And then, and and then, then yep, no, nope. <laughs> I know it's, it's our nature. It's like we have the best intentions when signing up. Yes. But then, oh, well, this got in the way that got in the way. No. So like I did a free um, resolu- New Year's resolution goal setting thing in January with a few people, you know, I had like 20 agents and, you know, it would be, oh, I didn't get to this. I didn't get to this. I'm like, okay, well, it's here for you, but you have to do it. I mean, I can only yeah. do as much as I can give you. You have to take it from there. So I, I know it's our nature. And so I think it really is key though to say, okay, where did I where, where was my professional development this week? You know, like, what did I learn for myself? Because there's so much out there. And most, a lot of it is free. Like, that's the great part is you can find free things. Because I yeah, know money is also an object. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and then the third thing is really take action. Create a marketing plan, but don't just plan it. Schedule those posts. Don't just you know, write things out and say, okay, I'll do this, this, and this. Take action, whatever it is that you want to do. Like for instance, social media, we have to be consistent on social media because that is how our clients know we are alive (laughs) pretty much, you know, like, Hey, Dana hasn't posted in a while. I wonder if she's still an agent, (laughs) you know, but in this climate and then they'll go and find another agent and then oh Dana hasn't posted in three months well that's that's why they went with another agent for their 2021 trip you know so being president and president being president <laughs> I don't want to be president <laughs> no it's a big job <laughs> be present on social media and be consistent I like to try to post three to five times a week and on whatever whatever platform you use most. I use Facebook the most. I'm trying to get more consistent on Instagram. It's a struggle for me. Um, although I can just put, yeah, it's, I, I try. I'm trying to be hip. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, I wanted a quote, I heard a quote a few years ago and it's stuck with me since. Consistency, like money in the bank compounds. So, you, and this is from John Maxwell, who is a, he's like a speaker. And, um, but you know, if you're consistently posting, if you're consistently sending a client newsletter, that adds up for your clients because they're seeing your name. I think a lot of times we think we don't want to be spammy. Like, oh, I don't want to email them too much, but emailing them a couple times a month is not too much. They want to hear from you and put things in that content that they want to read. So don't be salesy. You can give them, you know, ideas and packing lists and things like that, or maybe recipes from your favorite destination. That's popular right now because, you know, a lot of us can't go, but we can cook the things at home, you know. So just a little, you know, sprinkling those things in, but doing it consistently because doing it in December and then not emailing your people until like March, it's not going to pay off as much because <laughs> they haven't been used to you. And they'll be like, who's this Dana person? I don't know who she is. So I think that is, you know, take action, schedule your posts for the week. Um, you know, on Mondays, I actually, I like on Sundays to schedule mine out and, you know, I'll do it from my phone while I'm watching TV just to get it done. And then when I see them post, I'm like, oh, yes, I did it. <laughs> I thought ahead. And I do have a little tool for a free tool for travel agents who 
want ideas. So every, every Monday, I send out a list of three ideas for you to connect with your clients, mostly on social media, but like this week was some Valentine theme. So that was fun, but it's just at gutsgritgoals.com slash idealist. And it also spells idealist, but you know, but it's an, it's three ideas list. Um, so gutsgritgoals.com slash idealist. And um, I'm happy, you know, I send that out every Monday and I, I make it things that I post. So they're real life posts, which I think, you know, which sometimes that's all we need. We just need the little inspiration and you can do it. Because I truly believe in the consistency compounds and I want to help agents keep to that for their clients, because we are going to come out of the stronger and happier and we're going to get through Yes, absolutely. I love the consistency too. That's always a number one thing. That's just, you know, it's, I think a lot of um, agents get overwhelmed sometimes with the ideas of coming up with things. So that makes mm -hmm. it easy that you have some yes. ideas for them. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. yes, I know that's an obstacle. Like the blank screen is, it's too hard. So you shut it off and you start scrolling on Facebook. And before you know it, you're reading about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. <laughs> and all of a sudden, have gone by <laughs> nothing is posted but man you know all the royal family gossip yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> guilty <laughs> yes exactly I mean we all do it and um but it's just that you know that blank screen that anxiety so that's why I want to I decided to come up with this as a helper for agents to kind of get out of that blank screen um abstract um you know obstacle that's the word I was looking for <laughs> Yeah, no, that's perfect. And I love the idea too of um, a lot of the webinars in recent that we've had lately is they all say the same thing too. Agents are saying, um, make sure that you're posting, not just because you're not trying to necessarily make a sale, you're letting them know you're still there yeah. because that is, especially during this time, that's such mm -hmm. a good point you brought up that if you haven't posted for a few months and somebody sees another agent posting and they're ready to plan mm -hmm. their 2021 trip, they might, you know, go elsewhere. So that's a very yeah. good point. Yeah. And I mean, and the posts are, I barely do any salesy posts. Mine are all just about the destinations or like if someone just books something, the, um, like this week, what I'm doing for Van, well, this whole month, what I'm doing for Valentine's day is each week I'm picking a destination I love. And so this week is Jamaica. And so each day I'm just featuring a resort that I love there. And then each week I'll pick a different destination and um, plan them out that way. So it's providing value. It's not, you know, it's not selling, but it is kind of selling because they're seeing the destination. So, but yes, nobody likes to be sold to. So, but people like to hear stories. They like to see pictures. So that's what, that's what I'm doing this month. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. And those are all such great ideas and actionable tips that someone could be already doing right now as they're listening, um, which is so cool. But before we get into our fun rapid fire questions to ask you, um, I want to make sure, is there anything else that you want to include that we haven't talked about today? Um, I think that's it. The biggest thing right now is consistency and perspective. You know, be consistent. And when the bat, when, you know, something else comes down that you feel like it's another, just another thing to be upset about or mad about, acknowledge the emotion, acknowledge the emotion, but also then take perspective and reframe it and how, you know, what this really means. Okay. Cause we're, we have to wake up every day and keep doing our job. So we can't stay in that negative space for forever. So that's my biggest thing is keep perspective yeah. <laughs> and, and take action. Like if you're busy doing these things, touching base with clients, doing trainings, posting, you don't have time to be, you know, like that's, that's kind of my method. It's like, well, if I'm busy, I don't have time to be worried about all this stuff I can't control because the things that we worry about are things we can't control. We can't control COVID. We can't control what regulations get thrown at us. We can't, but I can control that I'm going to call my, like, you know, five clients a week, or I'm going to control that I'm going to do one webinar a week. You know, the, those are things in our control. So, and then hopefully soon we'll be back at doing what we do best. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Those are all such great reminders too. Just uh, breathe, 
recognize and then keep working. And that's so true with, you know, the, um, whenever you're staying busy, it's just, you, I, obviously mm-hmm. you feel more productive, but it also, I think goes in that you haven't been focused on things that aren't as important, you know, and mm-hmm. that you can't control. And, and this is something to remember all the time, not just with COVID, because there's always going to be something, there's always going to be an obstacle. And, you know, we just have to keep getting up, fall down, get back up, fall down, get back up. That's, that's our resilience. That's what grit is. That's why I named my company Guts Grit Goals because you can't achieve anything without being gritty, like without having that perseverance and resilience. So that's what I, that's what I hope to share. <laughs> yes. I love that. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of that um, with us as well. And um, to wrap us up. So we always like to do uh, basically like lightning rapid speed questions, <laughs> oh, but, but don't worry if, if there's anything and you're like, can you come back to me on that? We definitely can. Um, but for those of you listening, I've switched it up a little bit. So if you're used to the questions, some of these have changed. So I'm going to, I'm trying to uh, spice things up a little bit here. So the first one, okay, this is, hopefully this will be really easy, but what is your favorite travel movie? Favorite travel movie? Um, the Holiday. With, uh, yes. <laughs> that is, I love that one where they switch houses and yes. in, one's in England and one's in LA. I like that one. I agree with you. That is a great movie right there. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So another question is what is your favorite destination you've traveled to? Oh, that one's hard. There's like a million. <laughs> no. Um, I would say like if I were to go there, I would feel right at home. I would say Spain. I used to be a Spanish teacher and I used to um, every spring break or summer break, we would, I would take t- other teachers and I, we would take our students to Spain and France. So I just feel like I, and I haven't, I haven't taught in, uh, <laughs> I haven't taught in a long time, but every year we would do that. And I just feel so at home in Madrid and Barcelona. Um, those cities, I just, I just love, like, I feel like that's my, I, I miss it. I really want to get back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, it's such a beautiful country. Um, mm-hmm. and so this one kind of goes on that, but a little different is what is the most underrated destination to visit? Most underrated. Hmm. Most underrated. one's hard. Like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I threw, I said this was going to be easy. And then I threw in that kind of question. I know. <laughs> well, I think, I don't know. I mean, I think all right, I'm going to go with my destination to love this week. I think Jamaica is underrated. I mean, lots of people love it and it does get great press, but like we were actually talking with my son about it. He's nine. And we went to Hawaii two years ago. And we told him, but he's never been to Jamaica. I said, well, if you like Hawaii, and he loved Hawaii, like he wants to go there every year. And that, I mean, it's well worth it. But I mean, from the East Coast, I'm in outside of Philadelphia. So that's a long flight. I told him, I was like, Jamaica is, you know, it's not Hawaii, but it's got a lot of the same, you know, beach, sand, resorts, fun. And I was like, it's only a three hour flight (laughs) versus all that travel. So I like the accessibility of, you know, getting, you know, being able to get to an island destination and not have to travel long, you know, like you can do a three day weekend and it'd be doable. You can't do that with Hawaii. Yeah, no, excellent point. That's, I love that. Um, so, okay. Another question here is, is there any, so not maybe, maybe you're not binge watching it, but, um, any TV shows that you're, are your favorite right now? Um, I actually just started and see, I am a binge watcher because I I'm very focused on my work and I'm very focused on doing my webinars and all of that. But like when I decide to sit down and watch something like I'm all in <laughs> Same. <laughs> like the last one was um, the morning show. We just got Apple TV oh, yeah. because I got a new phone. So then we got the Apple TV. <laughs> so, um, so we just got done watching the morning show, which was awesome. And now yesterday I started binge watching truth be told 
Um, and that's also on Apple TV. And I really like that. And I think I only have like two episodes left because um, it's just so, it's like one of those mysteries that just keeps going and going. And you're like, I have to know who killed the, killed the dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and they always they do like the best cliffhangers so you're like well gonna have to watch one yes, more here yes so and i the only reason why i stopped watching was because everybody else came back into the living room and i was like okay well my tv time's over but <laughs> yeah. tonight they have baseball practice so an indoor baseball practice so i will have the tv on nice again. <laughs> love it i'm the same way too i i am a pretty big binger i and it's not like one or two episodes it's like i'm all in for a few hours for a while mm -hmm. and then <laughs> um so another one kind of on off tv topic but um is it, what is the last great book or article that you read um trying to remember um so I'm in, I'm actually in a book club. And so the, um, well, so I can give you like a fun read and then like a good read, like for professional purposes. So Grit by Angela Duckworth is the, is the professional purposes, but that is, it just talks about how successful people become successful. Like what is this grit characteristic? Really great and eye opening, eye opening. I mean, I've highlighted half the book, I think, and I've read it at least twice. And then our, the book, the book that I really liked for our book club, um, the storyteller secret, which it's a long book, but it's like a story inside of a story inside of a story. So it's, it's really neat. So, wow, that's cool. I forget who the author is, but it was, it was really, um, like, it's one of those things you can't put down. It's, you know, like a, like a binge, like a binge show, but in book form. Like yeah. I was literally making cookies and reading it at the same time. Like <laughs> that's all, that sounds like a really cool book though. I have to go check that out. Yes. Storyteller secret. Awesome. Cool. And so final question um, is what is your favorite positive quote or mantra that you like? Well, um, I'm going to say the consistency compounds because that's what reminds me all the time to keep going. Like, and it's in all facets of life, like even with weight loss, it's not what you do one day. It's what you do all the day. You know, like if you worked out one time, oh, that's great, but <laughs> it's not really going to do you any good unless you're consistently doing it. And the same thing with social media, the same thing with reaching out to clients, it all comes down to consistency and consistency is the hardest part. Um, and the consistency is hard to do. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, when you said that quote earlier, I was like, oh, that's the question. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so it's a perfect I, I've setup had a there. Yeah, I've had a tattooed in my brain ever since I heard it. And I just, I think I say it all the time. And just so I can remind myself because. Yeah. It it's does. such an important reminder. Yeah. You almost need to put a sticky note on your like computer and just say consistency, <laughs> you know? And so you always remember, oh yeah. Yes. I need to do this again and again oh, because that's and where- here's another works. good one. I actually looking, I do have sticky notes on the yes. <laughs> computer screen. 80% is good enough. And I think that's a very good um, reminder for the many travel agents are perfectionists. We like to make sure, like that's with getting an email out or getting social media posts up. Oh, what if I made a mistake? Or what if there's a typo? That's why there's an edit button. <laughs> that's my mantra. I'm like, that's why there's an edit button. Get it out because action is better than sitting there and waiting for the inspiration to come. If it's 80% good, it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's so amazing. That's actually a, such a good quote because I think that's a lot of times with um, aging, especially when it comes into marketing and things, and you're like, I don't know where to begin. I don't even want, you know, and you're, you don't really it's want, you don't want to do it unless you're perfect. Yeah. But that mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It is. That's, that's a really good quote. Yes. That's, that's on my, um, that's from Michael Hyatt, who was like a time management guy. So awesome. Yep. That's 
Yeah, that's so great. Well, I want to thank you so much again for this is awesome. And I just hope that I know this is going to leave everyone feeling a little motivated, have a spark of <laughs> energy to go. Yeah, I feel it. I'm, I'm excited now. And so I think that's, that was just a really great conversation. And I want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode of the Lounge with Travify Academy. And thank you again to our special guest, Dana, for joining us here today. Um, and be sure to subscribe to our podcast or subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of the latest episodes episodes. And we hope that you enjoyed our conversation today and join us again. But for now, stay safe and we'll catch you on the next flight.